Welcome to Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. It's our special 2016 election night special. We're coming to you live from SCTRT Election Central Studios. I'm Charles Bursell. It's just past 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to be with you for the next hour with up-to-the-minute actual election results and analysis from our team of experts and our typical collection of nonsense. You're going to hear the usual absurdities. The one thing we're not going to lie to you about tonight, though, are the results. We promise you they will be real. Again, I'm Charles Purcell. I'm your anchor. And before we do anything else, i got a nice panel to uh, introduce you to. I'm going to go with some results for you right now if you haven't tuned in yet. A few states have been called. Oklahoma, Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, all going to Mr. Trump. Called for Clinton, Delaware, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Vermont. Others are still being reported, obviously. Those are the ones that have been called by whoever does these things, networks, etc. So the total delegate count is Clinton 44, Trump 60. So that's where we stand at this moment. We'll be breaking into the show with live results for the next hour. All right, let's bring in the panel. The Scrouse is here. Hello. Author, vlogger, blogger. How are you, Scrouse? I'm great. Brooke Maroldi is on the panel tonight. Thank you for Famed having us. Famed pundit. Mm. Lots of opinions. Many. Lots of nonsense to come from you. Jonathan Wachala. So happy to be here. So happy. Host of his own show, What? With Jonathan Wachala. It's a great one. Check it out. Premiere episode next Tuesday at 4 a.m. All right. And Anja, not Anja. Hello, Anja. Hello. Did you vote? No. Okay, good for you. All right, let's go right to the panel. I want to get to the meat of this thing. Uh, Scrouse, let's start with you. How did we get here? We got here on the Mayflower, came over, and we established Plymouth Rock. We had to actually dig out the rock and set it up as an effigy to our arrival at Plymouth Rock. And then our forefathers and our aft fathers set sail across the great land of the Midwest, some by train, some by steamship, through the St. Lawrence River, down Lake Michigan. And, and do I take it from this presentation that you're going to bring us all the way to our current uh, uh, condition? Oh, yes, and beyond. Uh, the grand day, finale is election SpaceX day 20, and Mars. Election Day 2016. Right. Okay. All right. Well, given the pace of, of that story, let's uh, uh, go on to... Uh, Anja for the moment. Scrouse got us, a, uh, that was a great start on how we got here. Uh, uh, Anja, where do we go from here? Well, we go back to our homes. We go back to our cubits. We go back to our screens. We go back to our EMFs. We go back to turning down the fire on the stove and turning up the microwave. We turn ourselves off from each other and into within because it's all pointless unless, unless, I forgot. All right, yes. we're off to a great start. This is punditry that you're not gonna hear anywhere else except right here on Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. Jonathan Wachala, uh, you're next up and uh, now that we've, uh, understand uh, understand how we got here and where we're going. My question to you, for your political analysis, my question to you, Jonathan, is what the hell? Well, I tell you what, that's a question we've all been uh, been asking ourselves and uh, have to look in the mirror for an answer, you know? You look in the mirror, you look back, and the light reflects on you like flames in hell, and we almost think yes. to ourselves, are we in our own hell? Amen. Have we created our own hell, or are we just on the journey to our own heaven? and must pass through these mere fires of hell that we call existence. What's the difference between heaven and hell? It is the human condition. So you're not going to get this on PBS. You're not going to get this on Fox News. You're not going to get this anywhere but right here. And finally, our four-person panel, uh, we go to Brooke Moroldi. Hello, Brooke. Hello. Uh, describe to us the emotions, the many emotions you're going through right now. 
Well, like any true pundit, I'm not going to answer your question right away. Excellent. See, I think she I'll just go doing. off into my own agenda. Good. I had a very, I woke up at 3 a.m., did a bunch of stuff, but could not resist going to the television and sitting there for hours and getting really stressed out. And then I turned it off, and my salvation was making Italian wedding soup. But I diverse. I get diverted there. On my way here, I stopped at my local convenience store. Wait a minute. Did you say Italian wedding soup? Yes. What, homemade. What is in that? And do you have to be married to eat it? No, not at all. It's just a name. Do you get like, married once you eat it? What happened was somebody just gave it that name and made it that way. If you're married and you eat some, does that count as adultery? It counts as conjugal bliss. Mm. I see. When you eat it, no matter who you're with. Oh. So anyway, I was... We could talk about that a lot. But I went to the convenience store. Does it have noodles? It has orzo. Whoa. Which is pasta that looks like rice. I know. That's my favorite kind. stuff. And tastes like conjugal bliss. And uh, and that's our stream of consciousness talk radio theater pundit panel. We'll be hearing throughout the hour. You guys are fantastic. Only right here you're going to hear that kind of insight and analysis. Anthony, you want to give me some... uh, Results music. I'm going to run through this one more time here. It looks like uh, currently Trump has 60 Woo! delegates to Clinton's 44. Running down again, Clinton takes Delaware, District of Columbia, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Vermont, all called for Clinton. Called for Trump so far at this hour. It is uh, 7.38 Central Time. West Virginia. Tennessee. South Carolina. Oklahoma. Kentucky. Indiana. All called for Trump. Also Alabama. No white man has burned through the South like this since Sherman. Yeah, really, it's, it's really looking pretty good for the whole kind of uh, the south, uh, the Atlantic coast there along the south. All right. Um, Annie, uh, Annie's our sound person tonight. Uh, Annie was very good. She went around and planted microphones uh, all around the city. Um, where can you take us? Uh, is there, a, is there a, maybe an election party going on somewhere we can just eavesdrop? What do you got for us? You tell me now. She doesn't have a mic. She can't talk to you. Okay. So, okay, we're over at the coffee shop. We're just eavesdropping at the coffee shop right around the corner to see what the patrons are saying about tonight's election. Let's, uh, dude, let's listen in. Dude, I just like, I'm not voting. What does it matter? The whole system's messed up. My vote doesn't matter. They don't even count it. The whole thing is a mess. I mean, who cares? Why should I vote? Okay, so do you want three shots or two? I'd like a quadruple, please. Okay, coming right up. And soy milk. We got it. Triple cram soy. Easy. Thank you. Did That'll you be 10.95. Did you vote, dude? I don't vote. Ah. Move along. Sorry. You, sir, are you ready to order? Um, I don't know if I'm ready. I just, I need more time. This all came so suddenly. Oh. I don't know. I haven't really weighed my options, so I'm just sort of panicking right now. Sure. Would you like to step aside and uh, let this young lady order while you make up your mind? The menu is right over my head. You can see we have things with milk and goo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want the cannabis latte. Coming up! Cannabis latte! Dude, can I change my order? I didn't know that was on the menu. Oh, sure. Because I'd like a triple Would you like us just to add it to your quadruple $10? Add it. Okay, we'll add it. More cannabis on the... Other latte. Thank you, sir. Yes. Are you ready now? No. I've oh. been thinking about it, and uh-huh. I heard about the cannabis latte option. Yes, yes, um, yes. Could you describe that to me, please? Well, uh, it comes from a recipe made in Denver, Colorado, and we they freeze it, and they ship it to us, and we thaw it out in the microwave. Well, I love microwaves, so uh, I'll have one of those. Okay, excellent, excellent. Hey, uh, Annie, have we got a two-way speaker? That, can I speak to them? Can they hear me? Okay, tur- turn that up. I'm gonna. Okay, so be I'm gonna speak please, to um, and you'll be People ready of to Collectivo Coffee. Oh, who's? 
Dude, who's saying that? that? People of Collectivo Some Coffee. Boy. This is Charles Purcell with Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. Did you all vote? They're all, they're listening to I us, voted dude. for cannabis. I voted for Canada. And I went to the polls but got overwhelmed by the choices, so I just waited off to the side. And I've declared myself a sovereign nation in and of myself, so I'm voting for myself, and I'm not paying taxes. You know that little piece of pink paper they give you? I rolled a joint out of it and uh, smoked it right after I... Uh, what was I there for? Wait, are you talking about pot? I'm talking about the can of bliss. Depending cannibals. On, There's no cannibals here. Also, people of Collectivo Coffee, I'd like to know from you, depending on the outcome of tonight's election, what is your escape plan? Have you made escape plans? I well, yeah, you go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, I just get very panicky. Submarine. <laughs> Yes, well, I have a bunch of options waiting. Um, so I've got a submarine at the local pond, which won't really get me far given that it's a pond. I've got an aircraft carrier waiting. I've got a rusty bicycle, a pair of rollerblades, but I'm oh, not sure which you're one. You're ready to use. for the apocalypse. I'm ready, but I'm not sure which. Can you use them all somehow in conjunction? Yeah, I, I'd probably ride my rusty bike while carrying my rollerblades um, to my aircraft carrier and then yes. maybe land in the pond and take Good my idea. submarine. Perfect. I think it'll work. Thank you. I actually plan on just using a surfboard. All right. Okay, Annie. That's our that's our eavesdropping at Collectivo Coffee. And I believe we have uh, I believe we have a caller. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? That line. Uh, Oh, Hear me? So, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, you know what? You're breaking. Caller, you're breaking in and out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go back to our pundits, and I'm gonna uh, fix that a uh, phone line. So, uh, pundits, why don't you just take over for a little while? Tell us your deepest thoughts and your greatest analysis. I'm gonna step away from the uh, from the controls and fix that phone line. Has anybody read Moby Dick? No. High school. Yeah. Saw it on a shelf once. Did you see it on the shelf? Yeah, but I quickly looked away. Oh, it's a frightening book. Yeah. Terrifying. Are you equating that to book. the election in some way? No. I'm uh, thinking of my deepest thought, and it oh. involves Moby Dick and Captain Ahab and the human sacrifice. Well, tell us anyway. satanic ritual. Well, there was a ritual where Tyrion, he smelted his own harpoon, and he anointed it with the blood of the crew. Much like the country is being anointed in the blood of both Hillary and Trump and Jill Stein and the other guys and the other lady whose names I can't recall at the moment because, you know, I, I, um, I just decided to, um, to send energy today instead of to vote. I just sent some, some energy. I aimed it at the, the post office because I figured, like, you know, like the post office can be a little more of, like, an epicenter of energy and, like, really go places to all of the United States. So. Oh, but the post office is so slow. You don't want to be dragged down by the post office. Who else is the post office anymore? The yeah. Pope. Look oh, alive, oh, everybody. The, oh, I'm sorry. Be careful. This is a rowboat. Be careful how you talk on the rowboat. We don't want to lose anybody. We don't Sorry, when I get over. riled up, I stand up and slide to the left. <laughs> I know, the electric slide on the rowboat what, is very good. I'm good at weddings, not good in rowboats. Okay, well, try it again. Practice makes perfect. Makes perfect? Yes. It is kind of a perk that I slide in it the rowboat. It is a perk. Perfect. Perfect, everybody. Perfect. Get no. the harpoon ready. Harpoon oh. at the ready. All right, there's the target. Fire! Did you throw it at Anja? I thought she was the target. Oh, I didn't mean oh the my target. God, I'm so sorry. I misunderstood. Oh, oh, first aid kit. Oh Did you bring the first aid kit? I don't know. I, I think, uh, did you bring it? She's dead. Is she? She's. I hope not. She's making a lot of noises for a dead person. Wait, hold on. Let me try to pull it out. Let me pull it out. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Anja. Are you better? Anja. You scared me for a while there. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm just having some cramps. It's my time of the month. 
Well, then oh. you're welcome. I sort of speared them out. I hope it helped. There you go. Punnetry like you'll hear nowhere else. Give me some more uh, results music there, uh, Anthony, and I'll, I'll clue everybody in. See if any. I'm, I'm refreshing my results to see if anything else is, has come in. Uh, it's, again, Trump with 60 delegates at the moment. 60. And Clinton, 48. 48. Massachusetts coming in for Hillary Clinton, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. So 48 to 60 so far. We're still uh, looking for the big swing states of North Carolina, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and Michigan, all important swing states, all leaning toward Clinton at the moment, all leaning toward Clinton. I believe we have a caller on line Hello. four. Hello. Yes, hello. hello. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I am What's go What's I'm going so on? lost. Oh, let me just catch my breath. Yeah, catch your I, breath. Wow. I, I have, my therapist told me I have extreme election anxiety. That's a thing. Yes, That's a real is. thing. And she said I have an extreme case of it. And I'm a urban politics professor, and I haven't left the city in many years. But she told me that I should drive out into the country and get away from the election. And that's what I did. I got my car, and I went north, and then I went west. I was headed toward the Horicon Marsh because I was going to rent a canoe and, and see birds and get one with nature. And all I saw were gigantic Trump pen signs everywhere. And I lost my signal. My GPS went out. I ended in Dodge County near a lake, and people actually have Confederate flags flying. I don't know where I am. And then I saw these signs, and I started following the signs. And the signs led me to a farm field where there's bonfires, and they're burning Hillary in effigy, and they're boasting that they have the world's largest Trump banner. I don't know what I'm gonna do. These farmers are coming toward me now. They're really scary. Can you get me out of here? Put your wish again in Michigan. Put your wish again in Michigan. Then you Michigan. will find you are safe again in Michigan. 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 Visit Michigan. Michigan today. But I mean, Everybody's favorite swing state, Michigan, currently leaning toward Hillary Clinton here on Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. I think that uh, caller turned everything around and got us going where we need to go. I think we helped her. Uh, don't you think? Don't you think we helped her find some peace? I like to think so. Whether she comes back to her hometown or just stays in Michigan, Michigan, I think she's found some sort of conjugal bliss. Possibly even a new life. Oh, those people like that that should just stay in the city. Stay there with all the rats and the sewers and the disgusting city dwellers. We don't need them. We don't need them. We're voting for Trump. Because he's not a politician, and that's it. Gotta love those low information voters. Low, low, I don't need the any lower the better. The lower the better, right? No information. Just don't like politics. You know, uh, that, that caller also brought something up just the attention of the whole thing and the, and the depression that it's. it's it's brought upon us. I mean, psycho psychologists are writing op-eds and articles in The Atlantic about uh, how we're just depressed as a nation. And uh, oh, it looks like, uh, looks like we have, have another caller. Line three, go ahead. Hello, this is Dr. Feinstein, and I'm just calling to tell you about what this election is doing to our country. Oh, thank you, Dr. Feinstein. Feinstein or Stein? Well, it's either way you want to say it. I've grown up on both. Okay. I'll bet Trump has an opinion about that. 
Well, I don't Steen know. Or if, Steen or Stein, he'd have something to say about oh, that. Oh, he'd have volumes to say. In fact, I met him just the other day on the street corner. You did? How did that go? It went fairly well for me and awful for him. I was taking notes on his personality, you see, and he didn't like what I was saying. So he breezed up in a tizzy and his hair flew up, and I made note of that. So he grabbed my notebook and threw it on the ground. And I just wanted to call and complain about that. Am I calling to the right place? Absolutely. You're always. This is Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. You're always calling to the right place. We take all complaints regarding uh, Donald Trump. Yes, I just wanted to call and complain about his flappy hair and his notebook throwing. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, any other callers out there? Maybe some in, in the spirit of uh, uh, balance, any complaints about Hillary Clinton? Any call, Line one or two? Let's see if any... Anybody's yeah. There? Line two. Line two is there. Okay. You had a complaint about Hillary Clinton? Yeah. I am a Facebook status, and I am your typical liberal Facebook status, and I'm just going to say, before I say anything else, I don't like Hillary Clinton because I'm a liberal Facebook status, and that's just what you do on any liberal Facebook status. You have to begin with a... With, with a denouncement of Hillary Clinton, and then you have to go on and you have to say about, like, you know, all the harassings you've received from Donald Trump recently, personally, professionally, second-handedly from, from mean guys at the bus stop. And then you have to say, well, I really want to vote for Jill Stein, but I don't have the kahunis or the ovaries or the... the, the, the lungs. The non, yes, the, the lungs, if you're queer, to to vote for for Jill Stein because we we don't we haven't adopted the Australian ballot yet so until we do I'm going to be voting for Hillary Clinton. Okay. And I think the only reason why I also have to say that I don't like Hillary Clinton, aside from her terrible politics, is that she is a woman, and deep down, even though I am a progressive liberal, it's still hard for me to accept that someone of my own gender can get ahead. Okay, good points all. You really can't have that. You can't have a woman. And, and you know, I, and I did my job here as a responsible journalist. I, you always have to have balance. you got to pretend that the truth is always in the middle, right? I mean, you got if somebody says something about good or bad about Trump, then it's good or bad about Clinton, because that's what journalists do. And then, and then they make everybody think everything's just a 50-50 proposition all the time, and... Uh, and that's what a good journalist does, right? Yeah, I like right, to think, pundits? I like to think politics is sort of like an Oreo, just smack dab in the middle. That's where you'll find the truth and the cream. Right, and that's how we'll maximize our listeners, and we'll get them all upset, and, and, but we won't actually lose anybody. We'll just get everybody equally upset because we're just feeding the conflict, and, and that's our job, really, right? Yes, and what we should do is have our callers pit themselves against each other on our show, and then oh. we can take a break, and they can love each other through hatred. That's an excellent idea. I think you're right. See? Yeah, we're, we're, finding, we're finding some deep truths here tonight. All right. Anthony, I'm going to ask you to uh, entertain us for a minute or two. I'm going to refresh our results, and uh, we'll be back in just one minute with uh, Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater's live <laughs> election night coverage. We're here for the hour. I'm checking the time here. Well, yeah, we've got another, uh, at least another half hour to go or so. So, Anthony, take over, entertain us. We'll be back with results right after this. Anthony Deutsch on the keyboards entertaining us back with some up to the minute results again you're listening to live coverage election night coverage from stream of consciousness talk radio theater 
I can tell you on my latest refresh that Donald Trump, 66 delegates. Hillary Clinton, 48. Yeehaw! I think uh, Zip -doo. nothing else has come in. I think that I've already told you. Oklahoma, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, South Carolina, all going for Trump. Florida, Georgia, Arkansas, Texas, leaning Trump. In so far for Clinton, the networks have called Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, D.C. I don't think I've missed anybody there. Old New for England. Her, for her Good 48. old New England. And our pundits here in studio. Good old pretentious, stuffy New England. You're listening to the With their fake and accents. Angela, Angela. And the crabs. They're crabs, all right. Jonathan Wachala. Worse than Chicagoans. Brooke Moraldi. Anthony. Anthony on the Nord Electro 4 HP. Hammer Action Portable. Give us a solo. <laughs> Give us a stinger. Give us Hillary Clinton's theme song. Hello. I think the uh, I think the phone lines are working again. I think I fixed them. Um, and I think we have a caller. Let's see if uh, the hey. I did it. Did hey. I do it? Yeah, I did. I Hi. fixed it. Yeah. So since you guys aren't mainstream media. No, far from it. Yes, that's why I thought you might know where I'm coming from. You can call me Lisa. Hi, Lisa. I'm calling from a bunker somewhere in the desert. That's wise. Wow. Yes, and I am now, see, a, here's a woman with a plan. prominent member of, well, some would call me the president, but it doesn't matter. I'm a prominent member of the IPPI, the Institute for the par Paranoia and Paranormal, and something else at the end. I can't activity? remember. Well, that would, oh, that's that'd be A. a. Wait, yeah, P -P -I, I, P -P -I. Institutionalized. Institutionalized, wow. institutionalized members of the institution. Anyway, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there some sort of I ritual mean, going on? Over yeah, there there's lots function? of rituals here. Is that so, magic? Listen, everybody. Are you, you're letting the spirits loose. I have things to say about this election that are really important. We've done a lot of research. And what we found is that. Everybody thinks the Illuminati has all the power, right? The Illuminati this, like yeah, they have the banks and, and the financial structures and politics. Right. No, it's the Illuminati is controlled by a reptilian race of aliens. I knew a guy she named I knew a guy named Illuminati once. Illuminati oh he's a great guy. But yeah. the Good Illuminati jazz, jazz So this trumpet. race of reptiles, alien reptiles scanned the globe and while Hillary and Trump were in high school they determined that they were the most manipulable and manipulated and fiercely competitive so, so people. So Lisa and what you're saying is that they're both alien approved? Is that what you're saying? We, the aliens put chips in them so that okay. they could be controlled to polarize us and, and then destroy us. Made it them. They are approved by our aliens. I know it sounds aliens. crazy. We have the stats we have, and we've been trying to get those little chips out of them for years now, but, you know, it really doesn't matter anymore. Oh, you should invest still. in a chainsaw. My associate here is here to back me up on this. Oh, who and who are we speaking to now? Hello. Yes, hello. Hello, this Hi. is Klaus. Klaus. I am, to be, to be truthful with you, I am not an associate. I was kidnapped. And I was walking to Close. the... Close! Oh, please, Close. please come send help to the bunker. To the bunker in the desert, please. Oh, we lost him. We lost oh the connection God, there. I hope, I that hope was Close not okay. good. Yeehaw! Right. Wow. Okay, You well, sound like a lady who would vote for Donald Trump, am that, I right? That, that is damn too straight. I tell you, he could grab mine anytime. What do you say? I say... Free home. We gonna get the Trumpinator into office real soon. I like Cause to. we're 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 at a ashram and we're gonna make it happen through the power of the Om, keeping Jesus in the Om. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus! Hi guys, I brought the Om player. 
The so Omst. I'm just gonna pl- the Omst player. Omst player. Yeah, I'm gonna set it down okay. here on the ground so everybody take a little whack at it. It's a real nice Omst player you got there. What right now, don't got? abuse it. You're stepping too hard on it. Whoa! Ay, ow, ow. Ay, ow. Ay, ow. It's a stream of consciousness talk radio theater. You're not gonna hear. You're not gonna hear this anywhere else live on election night except right here you have tuned in to the right place cnn fox msnbc wherever you are you're not getting this you did the right thing tuning in i'm charles Purcell. this is stream of consciousness talk radio theater live election coverage it now stands you guys we have some breaking news we have some breaking news clinton hillary clinton hillary rodham clinton has surged ahead she now has 68 delegates to Trump's 66. They're neck and neck. That's because they're necking. Illinois has come in as expected for Hillary Clinton. I can a tell you for Illinois now. that Pennsylvania and North Carolina, really, the three we're really looking at, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Michigan, all leaning Clinton. So trends are beginning. And now a word from the League of Concerned Scientists. Polar bears are dying. Quickly. Tonight. Going extinct. And if we don't. Cool them. And send care packages. Made of ice cubes. Tonight. They will all perish. Polar bears. They will. And then we'll have meat in our freezers for the winter. But never again after that. So we will have tasted meat, but then lose it. It will be a brief ecstasy. The only polar bear left will be the coat in my grandma's closet. There's no meat in that closet, polar bear. An important message. An important public service announcement from science. Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater live election coverage continues. Hey, pundits. Yo. Hey. I've, 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 I, had a, I just had a thought I wanted to share with you. I, got, I have to confess I've been, I've been pretty depressed but not really surprised by, this, by the closeness of this campaign. And I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna pretend to be objective anymore. I mean, it's ridiculous. We all know Donald Trump is an insane, dangerous guy, and that's what make, makes us really upset. The reason I wasn't surprised was for years and years and years, Jay Leno uh, outpaced David Letterman in the ratings. So that gives you kind of a little bit of a clue as to what kind of country we live in. So that's why I wasn't too surprised. And then the last few years, the highest-rated sitcom on television is what? Big Bang Theory. People think it's funny. People think it's smart. And so that kind of gives you a clue. Now, the reason I bring this up, I have a surprise for you guys. <gasps> Art Tatum? Uh, for all of you. Uh, I've been keeping this to myself. Netflix has a new sitcom. Mm. And they gave us a little preview clip wow. that we're going to listen to right now. I will, I'll describe the sitcom to you, and then, and then we'll play the clip. It's a new Netflix series. It's, it's kind of an old-fashioned, classic family sitcom, but with a modern twist for the post-2016 election. It's called Honey, I'm Home. And it features, it features Shirley, who's a tough, successful career woman on the rise. And she's married to, to uh, Ronald, a bitter, failed businessman who spends his days at home angrily tweeting insults and excuses for his failed life. And they have a couple of precocious teenagers named Bud and Princess. And so this is the sitcom that's going to take us into this new era, this post-election era, where we have to somehow try to learn to get along with each other. And this family is a little microcosm. And the show starts as it always does, their little signature, with Shirley coming home from a hard day's work saying, Honey, I'm home. Honey. I'm home. Hey, uh, hey, baby, I'm home, too. I've been here all day. 
you accomplish anything today? I did. I was talking to Princess Bud, and I explained to them some things they needed to know about life. We're two different people. Stop calling us Princess Bud. Wait, no, we're not two different people. We're the same. Ah, Princess, get off of me. Uh, Princess Bud, Princess Bud can't get off of you as you're joined at the shoulder. That surgery didn't work. We're going to try it again next year. Don't worry about it, kids. But I learned some things on Twitter. We can perform the operation on the kitchen table using a serrated knife. No. No. Yeah, let's Ronald, do I it. I'm plenty t- of money. We don't no. have to do that. It'll save us lots of money. If you cut that vein, you'll connect my secret telephone calls to your head. Oh, I'm so sick of listening to your secret hmm. telephone calls. Why? Because you're talking to Christy all the time about how stupid I am. I hear that, princess. I hear it. You're not supposed to hear that part. You're just supposed to hear the part about how lovely and wonderful Bud is, like a little rose, not yet blue. Maybe this operation isn't such a bad idea after all, Ronald. Yeah, see, let's get to it, Ma. Let's get to it, Pa. Do you want him to bloom? He will come into full fruition if you cut us apart. He'll always be your Bud if you leave us connected, always. It looks like our Princess Bud is divided on this issue. And I'll be an old hag if you cut me. I won't be a princess anymore. Princess Bud, how do you feel about Princess Bud's opinion on this issue? I'm just annoyed that you keep calling me Princess Bud. I'm Bud. B- All right, let's put an end D- to this right now. Lie down on the table. Ronald, you haven't done anything all day but sleep. This is your chance to uh, prove yourself as a man. Okay, so separate okay, okay. these let children. Me, They're driving me crazy. Let me get out of my lazy boy. Wait, wait, I'm hungry. <sighs> Uh, you're if always we feed hungry. them before the anesthesia, they'll throw up, and then when two of them... Anesthesia? Up, we can't afford that. How about we put Princess Bud on the table, and Princess Bud can stand next wait, to the table wait, and eat I some spaghetti. I need a ride. I need a ride. You need a ride to the kitchen table? We've got three legs collectively. We can walk. And there it is. That's a little sampling of Honey, I'm Home, a new sitcom for post-election America, new on Netflix. Pundits, what did you, th- what did you think of that clip there? Pretty good, huh? Wasn't it a little grotesque? But Is I it th- right to make fun of freaks like that? I'm sorry, I don't know the politically correct term for freaks. No. Mon- Misshapen monsters. I think it was very monsters. inclusive. Very inclusive. It's of, timely. It, it, and we need to include them in the... In the conversation yeah, that think, America has to happen, should they be separated? Do they need their own identities? Very, very, very. I timely think that it issues. speaks to a deeper metaphor for for marriage and what this country is. You know, we're we're stuck together. We should exactly have the ability right. to to lay down on the kitchen table and and live our separate lives. And there's always the question of the third leg. And there is an even deeper question of mutant labels for lavatory usage. That's going to be a new industry that could actually bring our state back into the black. Back in black, our state. Back in black. On the Nord Electric Afford... Back. Never mind. I stumped our keyboardist. We could be making history here. Scrouse, you, you all sounded like a candidate there for a minute. Have you ever run for office, Scrouse? Anybody on the panel ever... I did, but the bus left without me. Okay. All right. That was probably for the best. Copyright. Infringement. Copyright. Give me one of these. Yes. Oh. That's why I didn't play it. Try it again. Yeah, we we uh, we. Uh, oh. <laughs> An- Anthony has lots of discipline. He knows that he knows to stay away from Too copyrighted much. material. Good job. You've trained him well. It yeah. was only a test. Yeah. I trained myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd um, like to see a sitcom where, what what was the those kind of reality shows where they put people under a globe of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Globe dunking. Globe dunking. It was Japanese. They, I love that show. They put them into a false environment, and they have to live together. I think Donald and Hillary and all their families and their top advisors should live in a domed city and for until whoever gets elected. The best part of the it. show was that it was at the bottom of Lake Erie. Do you remember that? <laughs> I loved it. I've uh, DVR'd most of it. I've watched the first and second episode. Oh, wait till you get to episode five. Oh, God. Don't tell me about it. Don't okay, really. I won't no say anything. Spoilers. Yeah, no, spoilers. no spoilers. 
So I wonder how they're going to handle it when the lake of inevitably catches fire, as Lake Erie is prone to do. Oh, yeah, they've been uh, foreshadowing that for the last few episodes. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this post-election America is is a uh, rather dystopian. I don't know how we're going to get along. Maybe it is just one big. We televised the whole thing. It's just one big reality. Mm-hmm. People love that. Yeah, they, people in Canada or Mexico can watch it. Just televise all oh, of America. Just watch us go down. Watch us burn. Like Rome. Yeah, Peek they can get out the, the fence. I have a uh, election update. It's time for an update. Things are happening quickly um, because, well, it's just after 8 o'clock Central Time, 8.11 Central Time, 9.11 on the East, 6.11 on the Pacific Coast. Several states... Uh, what time is it in Guam? Uh, 8.42 a.m. in Guam. Aye, aye. Uh, so several states have just uh, closed their voting polls and the results coming in and right up the center, south to north, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Whoa. South Dakota, North Dakota, throw in Wyami, uh, Wyoming, or Wyami, if you want, if you like that better, and they all go for Trump. Trump-a-doodly-dee. Trump-a-doodly-doo. trump a doop a doop a trump bump a bump 129 delegates for Donald Trump. Come hump the Trump. 97 for Hillary Clinton. That's where we stand currently. Um, (laughs) New York, of course, coming in for Clinton. That puts her up to the 97 point. That's an update from our last announcement. So New York, of course, we all expected it, but uh, there it's now official. New York and New Jersey in for Hillary Clinton. All right. Live results. Somehow the live results make me feel dead inside. Yeah, you know, this is kind of um, sad and depressing. No, uh, no, no. It's exhilarating. Yeah, they're live. It's they're like living. watching the Cubs. You guys, I, I've got some more actual news. Uh, every, everything you're hearing tonight is is fanciful and weird, and um, except for the actual numbers, and I guarantee you they're true. I can tell you that the swing states of North Carolina – and Ohio and Michigan are now leading, uh, leaning Trump, as is Florida leaning Trump. If that continues, uh, we're all going to die. Th- I can't believe we'll I'm saying this. We'll probably all die this. anyway. I can't believe point. I'm saying this. For you Florida. To say, kidding. Nope. Wow. Florida, North Carolina, Virginia. Ohio, Michigan, all leaning. Okay, so this is what adds what to our anxiety. The what? what uh, well, what do you call early... a state with one leg longer than the other? What do you call I... a state with one leg longer than the other? Eileen, can we get a stinger? But don't batch. Stop asking him for stingers. He's not a monkey. I thought he was a bee. He's a wow. worker bee. Maybe it was a bad idea putting us all in the same room. So to add to that bad news, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, like I. I on my way over here, I stopped yeah. at my convenience store, as I was saying earlier, and these two people I see on a regular basis, they are old enough to vote. And I said, so, did you vote today? And they did And then we said, yes, we did vote today. I'm sorry, I heard for you. For Barack Obama. For Barack Obama. We voted for Barack Obama Barack again. Obama. We, we wrote him in, and we were so happy, were we? <laughs> so, oh, when, when she does that little laugh, I'm sorry. I know we get annoying at the convenience store, but keep telling your story. So these kids, this is the first time they were legally able to vote. The first time. I'm 18 and in one day. I asked them if they voted. They didn't actually verbalize an answer. If I could verbalize it, it would be, huh? And they shrugged. And they, uh, 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 and I was like, "What? You didn't vote? I didn't vote. Are you vote. gonna get out? I'm not gonna early get enough out. from work. There is no vote? such thing as work. And I just it's asked, enough work asking in this them wheelchair questions. trying to get down the street. Have you ever tried to get down the street? You can't pass any of the cars. Oh, honey, I feel so bad for that kid. He sounds like he's 84. He almost sounds worse than we do. Well, I can't explain that. I think I am 84, possibly. Can you help me out with this wheelchair? I'm trying to not vote. 
Yeah, maybe l l let me put my my wife's wheelchair on top of your wheelchair. Honey, oh, is I that love okay that. with you? I don't care enough to vote, and I don't care enough to help him. Don't you want to put I don't your care. little drop in the ocean? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Honey, don't you stop singing that sexy I don't care. I can't help but say it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And that's why Trump's going to be president. Nobody cares about a goddamn thing. And that's why Trump's going to be president. Nobody cares about a goddamn thing. And that's why Trump's going to be president. I believe the Trump is president. Now, that Charles Bissell really knows how to get my trousers going with his singing voice. Dooby dooby doo. Oh, my Lord, you guys, what are we going to do? It's not happening. Is that Charles and Frank happening. Sinatra in there? It's not happening. It's not happening. Trump, 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 Trump. I think we all just need to grow vaginas. On a farm. Next to the lettuce. On a count of three. One, two, two, three. Vagina. One, two, three. Vagina. One, two, three. Vagina. Okay, we, uh, a company halt. All right, uh, you're looking sharp. You're looking sharp. Good job. I like the way you go through the streets. You look sharp. You My look like parade worthy. Hey, soldier, that soldier, shoulder, soldier on your shoulder. Why can't you learn my name? I've been walking for 14 miles. Schmitz. He's Schmitz. I'm Schmitz. He's Schmitzing Schmitz. all over the place, making the company look bad. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you for knowing my name. Listen, we're trying to form our own states. We're trying to get all the people with the vaginas or vagina syndromes or vagina sympathizers. I have vagina envy. Vagina envy. We have to take over a certain amount of the country and let those kind of, those states with the T's, uh, you know what they are. Oh, I oh you phallic red, states. All the, yeah. I've had vagina states. syndrome for all of my life. Yeah, what is that, man? I'm a T state. Come at me. I, you... I will. You don't want to see me get up in that. No, I'd love to see you get up in this T, little girl. You're T looking state. good. Who are you calling a girl? <laughs> I just assumed by the way you were looking and the way you were talking. Just because I'm wearing a dress doesn't mean I'm a girl. I'm all man down there. Well, I said vagina syndrome. I didn't say I actually had one. Well, show us your chops, kid. Pull up that skirt. Here you go. Woo! Woo Ah, all right, now I believe you. Back to what you were doing. Sorry to bother you. I forgot, I was so exhilarated. Was there a band around here earlier? I saw some marching. Yeah, I think they're gone now. This is a tea state. We don't want none of that singing and dancing around here. Well, welcome to Tisconsin. <laughs> Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. We've reached a point of uh, madness and despair madness and despair because i can tell you what we are broadcasting we are podcasting what? from who the lovely river west neighborhood in the heart of milwaukee wisconsin and wisconsin is currently no. leaning no. Oh. No. trump no! No! God, what the hell is going on? Not my Wisconsin, down Wisconsin, not on Wisconsin, down Wisconsin. Not on oh, Wisconsin, oh, off Wisconsin. The polls, off Wisconsin. The polls have clo the polls are closed in Wisconsin now, right? Yeah, eight o'clock. I think the polls closed. They do. Eight they o'clock do. Local, local time. It's now eight, uh, coming up on eight twenty Central Time here oh. in Wisconsin, which is leaning Trump. The only good news I can find on the map is Colorado is leaning Clinton, but Trump is still leading in the swing states of Florida, North Carolina, <coughs> Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, and even Virginia. Wow. For God, Virginia, sakes. how could you do this to us? How is Virginia leaning Trump? What's the percentage? Good mercy, Moses. No was good mercy Moses here and I missed it? Florida is forty. Oh, Florida is forty nine. Here, I'll give you some percentages. Florida is forty nine, forty eight. Trump. Um, 
Michigan is 48, 47 Trump. So they're still close. North Carolina, 49, 48 Trump. Ohio, Lord, I knew this was going to happen. 51, 44 Trump. That's Ohio. Ohio's oh, gone. Ohio. Virginia, how in the world does Donald Trump have a three percentage point lead in Virginia? 49 to 46 currently. Oh my God. Okay, Wisconsin, this has to change. Yeah. This, I guarantee this will change. There aren't that many uh, votes in, counted yet, but it's currently 58 37 Trump. That's all the small 58, towns. 58 37. Yeah, but that's all the small hinterland towns, I'm sure. Yeah, Milwaukee votes Milwaukee, less. Milwaukee and Madison, it takes a lot longer to count their votes. All what these, about all these little towns. In, in, uh, oh, slower in is his gold still oh, I don't, fine? I don't have those uh, with me. Okay. Take, take, Baby, take a look at the monitor there fine for a and see if you can have it. You guys, um, I'd like an how do we gold. deal with this? I mean, seriously, what are we going to do? we got to. Uh, Wow, we're together. We're going to be crazy. We are together in an actual room, in an actual place and time that's not a dream. Mark it. I think we just need to come out of the closet as freaks of a wild, like, just totally, Ooh. just, just, Ooh. just, just like, like, we don't need grants. We don't need, we don't need Crying anything. We babies. Just, we just need to make art in the street. We just need to, to go nuts. We need to rebel. We need to. We okay. need to take off our skin. Yeah. Now, okay, now you okay, this is good. Keep it up. We we, we got to We got to go out to the streets. I yeah. brought a bunch of Play-Doh that we can go just spread all over ourselves okay. and call ourselves the Play-Doh. Art. Oh. It's art has to just take over, right? We yes. just got to plunge in the deep end of art. Art Tatum. And for the next 4 years, that's how we're going to deal. And that's how we're going to fight the good fight. It'll be like the Bush years times 10. Call us the shrubbery years. Radiohead will be invented again. It will be called TV Head. Queen and will reunite, but they will be called... King. Princess Bud. <laughs> Prince John Don't. Lennon will rise from the dead. And Ringo Starr <laughs> shall prevail. Peace. Hallelujah. Peace, everyone. Do we have Ringo Starr here in the studio with us? No, that was just me doing a bad impression. Oh, God, that was, that was so that was. convincing. Hello, do it again, do it again. Charles, everybody close your eyes for a second. Oh, Charles Brissell. Close your eyes, okay, we're closing your eyes. You know. Ringo? You're the ones, I never said we were bigger than Christ. I said we were taller. You're the ones that made such a blooming lot of the whole deal. I read somewhere that Jesus was five foot eight. Well, I'm five foot ten. Paul, he's even taller than me. I get Ringo, I guess he's shorter, but I mean, as a whole, three out of four, we were taller than Christ. The other ones that made such a blooming lot of the whole thing with your TV and your, your telly and your magazines. Okay, I'm still processing all this. Are, My is, heart is actually beating wait, really, really fast uh, right now. I'm telling these you the are truth. Not, you get yourself going These with are that not impression. final results, correct? <laughs> no, these are not okay. final results. I, okay, I, they're I gave, not final. I Let's gave you the numbers. But, but all Let's, of the swing states are leaning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. But so for, if Trump wins, is he going to still say the system is rigged? We got to, and then we, we need, can prove that it's rigged and do some kind of de-rigging. We will batten down the hatches. Okay, so wait a minute. He's going to trial in December on some on fraud child. Or, you know, on rape. Yeah. 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 Where did, uh, November. Is when He's got I, two court dates already on the docket. One for fraud and one fair, for rape. Okay, here's a second. Here, yeah, fraud they're, and rape. I mean, they're in the yeah, books. They're they're, they're ready to go. But the, here's the judge a has second, them on his Google calendar. Here's a second serious thing. If he can't right on my Google calendar, become president, right then who's calendar. next? We have Pence, who is experienced and who is even if you hate him, he is smart. He knows how to work the system. I think that a Pence president is way more dangerous than a Trump Well, I don't know. That all depends. The Republicans huh. are all going to rally around him. You won't get, like, stupid, that guy Ryan looking all weenie-ish. They'll back him because they love Pence. They'll say, oh, yeah, he's a real Republican, as opposed to Trump where they're all been, like, on the fence about. No. 
Yeah. On, on the pens. Okay. It's or on the pens. Whatever it is. All I know is scary. we need, all I know is we need a plan. I like where Anja was going with that. We need to just become militant artists, militant. I think. Yeah. yeah. What else can we do? Seriously, what else can yeah. we do? Block the roads with sculpture. Paint all the guns pink. And string our canvases around the neck. We of just the gotta nation. like hang things off of our bodies and run naked through the streets. And glue dolls to our motorcycles. Glue dolls to our motorcycles, exactly. Build a wall around the White House. More ideas. More build ideas a wall like around the wall. Look at Cristo on the job. Cristo, throw, build us a wall. Throw I wet can build the wall. clay at all politicians. Wet clay. I can build the wall out of wet clay. Until the I can build the pink wall away. around any wall out of wet clay. And throw guitars. We will throw I'm the guitars. He just keeps taking our ideas. He just repeats them. Well, I am he's, an just, he's just reinf he's reinforcing. Job. He's he's reinforcing. Well, um, I, I need that. I need I need positive stimulation. Uh, Annie, Whoa. Annie, Whoa. Anthony. <laughs> I'm asking Annie and Anthony. Just give me whatever oh, you I'll got. Give load you some us up. Positive stimulation. Load Frank us. Sinatra. Load us up. Load it. Doobie doobie do. Load us up with sound. Doobies whatever you got, right Annie, now. Anthony. We need to drink heavily. We I need. Even drink. We need to be taken away. Just hit random buttons and keys and phasers. And let's let's I'm all just. Up. Not right there, Mama. Okay. I'm not giving up. Everybody, join in. We're just gonna. We're there gonna is build. no country. There I'm is just one world. Only the couch. Only the couch. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. Everybody sit on the couch. All you need is the couch. We're gonna build a wall of sound. Everybody sit on the couch. We're gonna build our own wall. My bricks are made of wood. Lay on the couch. Lay on the couch. Fold it out into a bed. It's still a couch. It's a couch bed. All you need is a couch. All you need is a couch. Let's save the rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, grace, how sweet the sound that saves the wretch like me. I once was lost. Possibly the end, the end of America as we know it. It is the end of our hour, live, election night coverage, from Stream of Consciousness Talk Radio Theater. One last update before we leave. I'm going to tell you that it's 104 Clinton, 129 Trump. The swing states of Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, all leaning Trump as we speak. We're going to take it out now. That's it for us. Thanks to Annie Dennison on sound. Thanks to Anthony Deutsch on the keys. Our pundits, the Scraus, Anja Not Anja, Jonathan Wachala, Brooke Moroldi. I'm Charles Purcell. We will talk again next week when hopefully this damn thing will turn around and we'll all be okay. <laughs>